Chicago. It's Mark Byer with Chicago Fit Club. Um, I'm here today with Matt Robin at uh, LVEC, Lakeview Athletic Club. And he's going to talk to me about, actually he's going to put me through a test today, uh, a couple tests. Uh, see how, kind of, I guess you could say, see how fit I am at my base uh, level and to see how many calories I'm burning in a day. Uh, we're going to do a, a basal metabolic rate test, which means um, how many calories am I burning just sitting here? How many calories am I am I burning without moving, without any exercise? Um, it's a great way to, to start to know how many calories you're burning in a day. So he contacted me and uh, said, why don't we get together and I actually do a test on you because I've actually never had it done. So I was pretty interested in, in learning what my basal metabolic rate was. And he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, the process, uh, what it's called, uh, how it's going to work, and why it's important for clients to use it. Sure. All right. Thanks, Mark, by the way. Uh, so basically, basal metabolism is the amount of calories you're going to be burning at rest. When you're lying down in bed, you wake up, you, uh, you don't even move to turn off that alarm, you don't move to pick up your Blackberry or anything, you just lie in bed for 24 hours. This is how many calories your body needs, also known as your resting metabolic rate, essentially. Uh, how many calories your body needs just to maintain your body mass at what it's currently at. So what do you weigh right now? Uh, 185. Okay, so 185. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. So 185, this is what Mark is going to need to require uh, to maintain 185 pounds. Now, if you have a goal of either weight gain or weight loss, depending on what your fitness goals are, then we know how many calories we have to add in or subtract. Um, once we get your basal metabolism, we then add on a, an activity factor, essentially. Anything from uh, light activity, if you work in an office, on, you know, sitting down all day, all the way to uh, extremely heavy activity, which would be a guy digging ditches all day long, burning thousands of calories Got extra. Uh, we don't include exercise in that. That's actually a, a whole entire different number. We then actually would say, all right, well, you might work out for an hour. We then figure out what that hour of workout does, which the VO2 test will actually tell us precisely how many calories per minute you burn at each heart rate uh, and how many calories of those are coming from fat versus carbohydrate. Uh, now the goal with this is obviously to figure out uh, in an endurance sense, if you're an endurance athlete, mm -hmm. you would want to be more efficient at burning calories from fat. It allows you to work longer and you don't have to fuel as much. Uh, you won't bonk, hit the wall, any of those right, terms. Right, so right, it allows right. you to go longer uh, and eat a little less. And ultimately, if we can fuel ourselves with our body fat, means we can get more ripped, which yes. we all want to do. Everybody wants to get lean. Exactly. Day, especially in the winter yeah. in Chicago. Right? So, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so basically this will tell us, uh, we, you wear a, a neoprene mask, basically wetsuit material, uh -huh. and you're going to breathe in and out. The machine measures the volume of oxygen and the volume of CO2 that you're breathing in and out and comes up with a number called your respiratory quotient, which uh, is basically the ratio of oxygen to CO2. And that's basically how metabolically active your body is. So the more metabolically active you are, the more calories you are consuming, or need to consume, I should say, to maintain, uh, to maintain that. Uh, yeah, maintain, yeah. gain, or lose, and then we just play with that. Yeah. Now, the one thing most people make the mistake of when they try and diet, actually, is they go too low on their calories. Mm -hmm. They go below their basal or resting metabolism. What happens there is you basically slow down your body. Your body says, hold on, I can't do this anymore. So your workouts aren't as effective. You can't lift as much. You're tired throughout the so day. So what you're saying, Matt, is that your basal metabolic rate is the baseline by which you can't go below. Correct. So even if you're dieting, you want to lose, whatever, 50, 50 pounds, yeah. 100 pounds, your basal metabolic rate has to be the amount of calories that you're, you need to at least consume. Absolutely. Day. And then if you exercise on top of that, an additional 500 calories, for example, of exercise, we're going to add that on top of your basal metabolism. Right. So, because again, that exercise is to your body's all intents and purposes. That's part of your basal metabolism. Yeah. It's saying, hey, I'm doing this much movement today. It doesn't care that it's coming from exercise. Right. I need this many calories to maintain proper bodily function. Right, so, right. Great. Yeah. Well, um, you're going to put me on the mat. You're going to put a yeah. mask on me. You're going to get me started. Yeah. Uh, we'll check back. We'll see how it's going. You're going to take a, a few views of, uh, of me laying on the mat, and uh, we'll uh, find out what a basal metabolic rate is. All right. All right. Thanks, cool. Matt. Yeah. Okay, so basically we're going to have Mark lie down. He's going to lie on his back, get nice and relaxed. You don't want the client to fall asleep. So if you're uh, doing this test, you're not allowed to fall asleep. You want to breathe comfortably through your mouth. The uh, test is going to take about 15 minutes. And don't try and do any yoga breathing. Don't try and do any meditative breathing. Just relax. Totally be comfortable. Uh, that's pretty much really all there is to it. And uh, when we're done, we'll let you know. So you're going to lie down, and we can get started.
How'd it feel? That's pretty good. Yeah, got to lay down for 10 minutes. Yeah, my big nose doesn't fit in here too well, though. <laughs> we we can get you a bigger mask for next time. Oh, All right, yeah. wake up. Time to do your VO2, my friend. All right.